My name is Peter Huran, I'm the head coach and founder at Outcast in Sheffield, and this is my son. My name is Tyler Huran, I'm a multiple champion in Muay Thai and K1 kickboxing, and I fight out of a storm gym and train out of Outcast Academy, which is my dad's gym. Started when I was three years old, and ever since that day, I got to six when I had my first fight, tournament fight, which uh, I got a sandy intercontinental champion. And ever since that day, I've just taken over the world, really. What is it, T? What is it? There we go. Let's go, boys. Okay, you, you yes. Well done, boys. I'm really impressed with this boy. Not just as a son, but as a kid, too. He's so humble outside of the ring, too. He's such an inspiration to others. He's a head coach of Outcast for the Juniors as well. So he runs a lot of autistic children and he puts a lot back into the community as well. That's mainly more what I'm more proud of, just what good human being is. But when he gets into the ring, he's just an animal. He's like Thanos. He, he's like, he he's literally searches for world champions around the world, he takes them on and just takes away their legs. I really don't think he can be stopped. No, I don't think either. I mean, my whole life I haven't been and seen an eight count or I have been stopped, just win, win, maybe a couple losses, but they're just learning curves. Yeah, I just, just took on the Super Fight Series world title in K1 kickboxing, which was, to me was one of the biggest moments of my life. And as you could tell by the uh, pictures afterwards, it got a bit emotional. But uh, when you work your whole life for something and you, you get it, and you get it early, that's, that's, that's what it means the most. Now, I look up to Tyson Fury. He's, he's not just because what he does in the ring, like, it's just what he does as a whole, you know, like outside the ring and everything he's battled through, mental health, etc. And when you look at him, you don't really think he's going to be the next world champion. You think, oh, right, he probably goes to the pub or here he'll go KFC or something like that. But he, um, he, it's not about how you look, it's about being good. In December, on uh, he'll be fighting on Super Fights. He'll be defending his world title against another another great champion, a Spanish kid. Uh, with, I can't say his name, but his uh, his records speaks for itself. He, he's 40 fights, 30 by knockout, and only one loss. So he, he competes at the top level of sport, but I don't think he can have. I love I love to fight people that are older and more experienced. I mean, it's better to fight the best. My goal is to, to be everyone there is, so no one can look back and say, oh, well, he didn't fight me, so he can't say he's the best, because the aim of the game is to take everybody out, beat everyone else, and they can't, no one can say anything, you're the legitimate world champion.